Zits, tits, clits, and the director's flaccid dick, all in the ludicrously stupid horror thriller, Deliver Us. Say hello to my little friend! I wanted a mission. And for my sins, I gave you one. That goes in eternity. Well, folks, it's another uninspired entry into the demonic possession genre that clumsily pilfers from other, much better entries with all the finesse of a baboon fucking a jackhammer. Directed, written by, and starring Leroy Kuntz. Or do you pronounce that Kuntz? Eh, I'm gonna go with Kuntz. Is about a hot Russian nun, Sister Yulia, with a cluster of forehead zits, perky boobs, and a plump booty played by Maria Vera Ratti, who claims to have been impregnated with twins by the good lord himself. Well, if she wanted to get knocked up in a convent, all she had to do was dress up as an altar boy. So, the Vatican sends two priests to investigate. One, Father Fox, played by the aforementioned cunts, looks like he'd be the bass player in Space Fraud, and feels about as misplaced in religious garb as a black dildo in Grandpa's war chest. And the other, Cardinal Rossi, played by Alexander Siddig, otherwise known as that soft English dude from one of the shittier Star Treks, where his performance here is particularly ham-fisted, as he sports some kind of bizarro foreign accent that feels more at place in a dirty Sanchez joke. So, uh, Father Fox has to leave his hot Russian girlfriend. Oh, right, did I forget to mention the good father has a girlfriend, and a smoking one at that. So naturally, the Vatican would feel he's the top priest for the job. I mean, at least he doesn't prefer to be balls deep in ultra ass. And no doubt the writers of this derivative garbage decided they could kill two with one stone by ripping off the priest having a crisis of faith motif that felt fresh and original 50 years ago with the exorcist and giving our rock star priest a love interest. Yeah, sure. I'll buy that shit. It ends up our hot, knocked up nun is in fact carrying twin crumb crunchers. One the Messiah himself and the other, my Lord and Savior, the Antichrist. So the plot thickens. The Catholic Church, for once doing the sensible thing, send another priest to coat hanger out the Antichrist. But somehow, Director Kuntz decides this is the bad guy of the flick, and just to make sure you know it, the fellow has a scar running over an empty eye socket and a look in his mug that one might get while pissing out broken glass. Boy, that's such a well-rounded and subtle look to your villain. Why don't you just give him an evil mustache to twirl, a pirate hat, and a t-shirt with the caption, I shit on pillows for kicks. Then, what follows are a series of time-worn horror cliches shamelessly plopped in in a feeble attempt to engage and scare the audience. Priests questioning his faith? Check. Weeping statues? Check. Whispering evil voices? Yep. Oh, it was all just a dream sequence? check a -roni. Incessant Gregorian chants? Check. And there's even time to rip off The Shining as our hot model porking priest becomes possessed by Satan Almighty and axes down the door, and instead of Jack Nicholson's iconic, here's Johnny, we get cunts cackling, cock a doodle do. Folks, this is to good horror films what Scott Stapp is to Eddie Vedder, a really shitty imitation, with more plot holes and loose threads than in incels jockey shorts. I must tell you, there's precious little to recommend here. However, I will admit to enjoy seeing Star Trek guy get his leg caught in a bear trap and then having his face chewed off by wolves. That, that was satisfying. I enjoyed seeing the nuns and the hot girlfriends meet sacks and bums, but of course even that is spoiled by cunts bearing his meat rod for all to snigger at. Thanks for nothing, Mr. Cunts. If only Deliver Us wasn't as flaccid and as limp as his Trudeau, I wouldn't have had to suffer through this trek wasting exactly one hour and 43 minutes of my precious time. Deliver Us can be avoided on Vudu and Amazon Prime Video and gets an acid test rating of utter shit. That is all. And don't forget to subscribe and like.